nigga hit the lottery So when you going up, how can you plummet? Damn, you stun it On the land, when you expand the grands They gonna stand who run it In the jam, you brung it Coming from all the fans The Kansas City man do Hey, you guys Good morning Welcome back to my channel No wig on today Just my little nappy puff I think I'm gonna do a wash and go today But that's not what this video is about My glasses look foggy Hey well, this is a what I eat in a day video. So today, um, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I'm eating for breakfast and dinner. Um, it is Sunday, I doubt I'll eat a snack. If I do, it might just be some more almonds or maybe strawberries, I don't know yet. But I'm gonna show you guys what I'll be eating for breakfast today and how I make it and whatnot and what all that, all that good, good stuff. So, I'm gonna have me a piece of toast today. Now, the bread I'm using is Sola Bread from the SolaCompany.com. I'll have the link uh, in the description box. Some of the grocery stores also sell this. hy V sells it in my area. I don't know what other stores uh, carry it in your area, but I got the sweet and buttery, and it is three net carbs per slice. I'm gonna do some chicken breakfast sausage and the macros look like this if it focuses this is only one carb um, for one link so I think I'm gonna do two links and on my toast I'm gonna add some Kerrygold butter love this stuff so much and I'm also going to add some and oh I got the Kerrygold butter from Walmart and I got this sausage from Aldi's, or Aldi's, however you say it. And then the strawberry sweet jam with stevia, no sugar added, four calories. I got this off Amazon. Macros on this are amazing, four calories for one tablespoon, and it only has one carb because you take the sugar alcohol of three grams from the uh, total carbohydrates, which leaves you with one. And these are the ingredients. And then this cheese right here, this is about, mm, I wanna say two ounces of cheese. I'm gonna make me some cheese chips just to, uh, I'm gonna make a few cheese chips, put it on my parchment paper and put it in my air fryer. So what I'm doing is just putting cheese in a little pal to make my cheese chips. So they can be nice and crispy. And I'm gonna do these in my air fryer, you guys. Not turning on the hot stove. It's so hot here in Kansas City. Also to get my cheese chips a little more flavorful, I'm gonna add some everything but the bagel seasoning um, that I actually got from Trader Joe's. I put it on bagels and everything, it's amazing. Here's what it looks like. Um, it's very affordable and you can also order this online, but it tastes amazing. Now I'm just placing um, my cheese on parchment paper and putting it in my Pro Air Fryer Oven that I got from Walmart. I love this thing, it works amazing. I'm gonna let this go for about 10 minutes at 370. Um, I didn't even think I needed to let it go that long, but now I'm just frying up my sausage. And after the sausage, this is what the cheese crisp look like. Nice and golden and just full of deliciousness. Now I'm just going to go ahead and let y'all see this bread. The bread looks so good. It is so good for it not to be normal bread. Um, and it toasts just perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and add my good old butter and jelly and get ready to eat. Hey y'all, so I'm about to eat, drink my water, electrolytes. Here's a cheese chip. Let me get one that's real seasoned. That's what it looks like. Listen to the crunch. Mm. So they're more crispy on the outside and a little more soft on the inside, but it's a firm softness.
Okay, y'all, so it is nighttime and I'm about to cook my last meal. I'm losing light. It's six o'clock. So I'm going to do some coconut shrimp with Brussels sprouts. So, this are, these are the Brussels sprouts I'm gonna be using. Got these from Aldi's. They're a microwavable bag. Don't think I'm gonna microwave them though. I'm putting these on the stove. Um, I'm gonna put some Parmesan cheese on them. Maybe, I don't know. I, I don't know why I got this mild cheese out. Coconut flakes that I'm going to use. My extra large shrimp I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna season them with the chili lime seasoning blend and some salt. Um, it pretty much already has sea salt in it, chili peppers, red bell peppers, lime juice, but I think I need some black pepper. So I'm gonna put probably two more seasonings down here. My chili lime seasoning blend is from Trader Joe's. So I'm just gonna put a good amount of that. About that much pink Himalayan. Add some black pepper. Mix it all together. So I'm just using two eggs and I'm gonna season my eggs with pretty much everything else I use to season the shrimp with, except I'm not gonna use any more salt. I'm also gonna season my um, coconut flakes as well if I didn't say that. And this is the oil I'm gonna use to cook it in, avocado oil, you can get that anywhere. So you're gonna just dip the shrimp in the egg batter and put it in the seasoned coconut flakes. Dip one in the grease. Now I'm just putting my Brussels sprouts and some avocado oil, seasoned them, and I'm just letting them saute in the pan. That's all. And here are the shrimp. I didn't make them all because the rest of the shrimp, I'm actually going to just cook those in some butter and just eat those as is um, another day. But this was all I wanted of the uh, coconut shrimp. So I'm just gonna make a little sauce with some avocado mayo, my favorite mayo. I'm gonna add some thyme, and I don't do measurements for real unless the recipe really calls for it if I'm following another recipe. I'm gonna add some ground mustard. Um, I'm also gonna add some um, dill weed, and I also added some onion powder as well and a little cayenne pepper, which I forgot to film that. And just mix it on up and there's your sauce. Boom, bam, done. Okay, you guys, so here is my last meal. My coconut shrimp, my Parmesan Brussels sprouts with my dill sauce to dip. So I'm about to smash. This will be my last meal of the day. Okay, you guys, and yes, I've been in the same outfit all day today, but I'm clean. Here's my food. Like I said, I showed y'all. Um, I'm gonna try the shrimp for y'all. Trying to move this camera back so y'all could see me taste it and everything. I was editing. But I'm gonna taste this for y'all. Got my quick trip water. So, let's taste this shrimp. Should I do it with the dip or without first? Oh, I can't help, I gotta dip. Mm. That is really good. Thumbs up. So you guys, this is gonna be the end of the What I Eat In A Day video. I hope you enjoy. Also, I do wanna say that I do eat a lot of the same stuff um, very often. 
So y'all might not be getting a whole lot of these. Um, but if I think of something new or if I find a new recipe, I will bring it to y'all and show y'all what I eat. But uh, I just wanted to make that disclaimer because I pretty much eat the same stuff all the time. So I hope y'all enjoy and thanks for watching.